Hello, this is group G7 and we are going to explain the topic Computers have become an essential part of modern life, revolutionizing the way we work, communicate and access information. They are versatile machines that can perform a variety range of tasks from browsing the internet and creating documents to running complex simulations and processing large amounts of data. As a result, computers have transformed many industries, making them efficient, productive and portable. One type of computer that has gained popularity in recent years is the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a small, low-cost computer that was originally designed to teach programming to children. It has since become a favorite among hobbyists, makers and enthusiasts for its versatility and ease of use. But where did it come from? In 2006, a group of computer scientists at the University of Cambridge in the UK had an idea. They wanted to create a low-cost, programmable computer that could be used to teach computer science with the children. Six years later, that idea became a reality with the release of the first Raspberry Pi board. Since then, several more iterations of the Raspberry Pi board have been released, each with improved hardware specs and additional features. The Raspberry Pi has become popular not only as an educational tool, but also as a platform for a wide range of projects, including media centers, game consoles, robotics, and IoT devices. Today, over 30 million Raspberry Pi boards have been sold worldwide and the Raspberry Pi Foundation continues to work on improving and expanding the capabilities of the platform. Now that we know what Raspberry Pi is, let's take a look at the different generations. Starting with the first gen model A and B, these boards were released in 2012 and featured a 700MHz ARM processor, 256MB of RAM with two USB ports. Now the second gen included Raspberry Pi 2 and 3. These ones were released in 2015 and 16 respectively and featured improved hardware specs including quad-core ARM processors and 1GB of RAM with 4 USB ports. After that came the Raspberry Pi Zero, the third gen, released in 2015, designed to be the smallest and most affordable member of the series. Despite the small size, Pi Zero still offered 1GHz single-core processor, half a gigabyte of RAM, with a mini HDMI port. And finally the Raspberry Pi 4, the latest to the series. This one was released in 2019 and features a quad-core ARM processor, clocked at 1.5GHz, up to 8GB of RAM, onboard dual band Wi Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, Gigabit Ethernet, and support for dual 4K displays. In addition to the main boards, there is also Raspberry Pi Pico. This is a microcontroller board that was released in 2021 and is designed for embedded projects and IoT devices. So, there you have it the different generations of Raspberry Pi, each one offering a unique feature set and capabilities, making it a versatile platform for a wide range of projects. Now that we know about the different generations, let's take a closer look at the hardware and components that make up a Raspberry Pi board. At the heart of the Raspberry Pi is a system on a chip, also which contains the CPU, GPU and other components. Different Raspberry Pi models feature different socks with varying performance and capabilities. The sock is supported by other important components such as the RAM and storage. RAM is used for temporary storage of data while the board is powered on. Storage can come in the form of an SD card, USB drive or other storage media and is used for permanent storage of data. In addition to the SOC, RAM and storage, they also include various I.O. ports. This include USB ports for connecting peripherals, Ethernet ports and GPIO or general purpose input-output pins for connecting to other devices and components. And finally, to power the board, a micro USB or USB C port is included for connecting to a power supply. It's important to use a power supply with the correct voltage and amperage to ensure stable operation of the board. That's it for the hardware and components that make up a Raspberry Pi board. Operating system and software. Before you can start using a Raspberry Pi board, you need to install an operating system. Now, there are several OS available for it, including Raspbian Pi, Ubuntu Mate, and Pi OS, etc. Each operating system has its own unique features, performance, characteristics, and requirements. So, it's important to choose the right one for your project. Installing an OS on the board typically involves downloading the 
OS image file, flashing it to an SD card and inserting it into the Pi board. Once the board is powered on, the operating system will boot up and you will be ready to start using the board. In addition to the official operating systems provided by the Raspberry Pi Foundation, there are also many community created operating systems and distributions available such as RetroPi for gaming, OctoPi for 3D printing and Pi Music Box for streaming music. So there you have it, an overview of Raspberry Pi operating systems. Choosing the right operating system can make a big difference in the performance and capabilities of your Raspberry Pi project. Now let's see some of the applications of Raspberry Pi. One of the most popular applications of the Raspberry Pi is home automation. With the right sensors and software, you can use a Raspberry Pi to control your lights, thermostat, and even your home security system. The Raspberry Pi can also be used as a media server, allowing you to stream music and video to your devices throughout your home. Popular media server software includes Plex and Kodi. Another popular application of the Raspberry Pi is as a retro gaming console. With the right software and game controllers, you can use a Raspberry Pi to play classic games from the NES, SNES and other systems. The Raspberry Pi is also commonly used in robotics and automation projects. With its small size and low power consumption, the Raspberry Pi is ideal for controlling robots and other automated systems. Finally, education is another popular application of the Raspberry Pi. The low cost and easy to use nature of the Raspberry Pi makes it an ideal tool for teaching computer science and electronics to students. So that was an overview of some of the ma many applications of the Raspberry Pi. With its versatility and affordability, the Raspberry Pi is a powerful tool for anyone interested in technology and electronics. Conclusion From its humble beginnings as an educational tool, the Raspberry Pi has evolved into a versatile and powerful computer that can be used in a wide variety of applications. We explored the different models and families of the Raspberry Pi, discussed its hardware components and operating systems, and looked at some of the many applications of the Pi. Whether you are a hobbyist, a student, or a professional, the Raspberry Pi offers endless possibilities for experimentation and creativity. From what we have learned today, you can customize and optimize your Pi to suit your specific needs and interest. We hope this introduction to Raspberry Pi has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to explore the world of DIY computing further. With its low cost, powerful features and vibrant community of users, the Raspberry Pi is a tool that has something to offer everyone. Thank you for joining us on this journey.